Hey y'all, what's going on? I hope it's all good in the neighborhood, y'all. Yes, I do. Y'all, I've been out a lot, um, driving, thinking about life, thinking about some of the things that has um, happened to me in my life in the past. And sometimes your past will catch up with you. Oh, yes, it will. And um, you just have to pray. I think about some of the hurt, the heartache, the disappointment that I have had in these 63, soon to be 64 years. And uh, I have enough hurt and heartache for to last two lifetimes. But what I have to do is pray and give it to God. Lately, I've been feeling um, real emotional. Nobody has done anything to me. Um, the bills are paid. The children are fine. The husband is fine. Everything is good. I have a birthday coming up, y'all, August the 3rd. I will be 64 years old. So life is good. But sometimes we have to search deep, deep in our hearts because we still have some residuals left over from past hurt in relationships. And every now and then, that sneaks up on me and it comes out. In my tears. So I'm asking God, I'm like, God, what is really, really, really going on? Why am I feeling so emotional about all these past hurts and past relationships? But one thing, I have a let some go. So whenever you're, you're, you you feel like you're doing good and you know life is good and and you start feeling emotional and start you know crying for no reason at all, that means that you have not let these um, past hurts go. Let them go, y'all. It's not even. It's not even worth it. If you woke up this morning, you breathing. You alive. You in pretty good health. You have a lot, a whole lot to be thankful for. So I have a lot to be thankful for because I didn't think that I would even make it to um, to be 64, to make to my 64th birthday. I always thought that I was going to die younger because of some of the things that I went through and the stresses and the heartache. Y'all just don't know. Mama T has been through a lot. And um, it makes you emotional. Sometimes we have to get counseling. But the best thing that I can say is take it to the Lord in prayer. That's all we can do. Let's take it to the Lord in prayer. In my life now, I'm not... I'm not worried about, it, it, you're supposed to think about what's going on in the world, but I want to live my life and I want to be, I want to be happy. I want to be stress-free. You know, I'm, I just can't worry about um, anybody anymore. I just can't, I don't, I don't worry about my children. I pray for them. My husband, I pray for him. I don't worry about anybody. It's time for me to think about myself, do things for myself. Stop putting myself on the back burner. Stop so much catering to others and live my life because you only get one, one chance at life, y'all. One chance at life. So I would say, you know, have faith in God and have faith in yourself that you're going to do the right thing about yourself. Keep on striving, keep on pushing, keep on going. Be whatever you want to be. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you want, I mean, whatever you want to do, pray about it and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of anything. Don't be afraid of anybody. Because God is the author and the, and the finisher of our faith, right? So we don't, you know, we shouldn't be afraid to, to, to do the things that, that we want to do. And you know what? One time, I was even afraid to feel good and, and uh, feel happy because I was looking around the corner for something bad to happen. 
So I deprived myself many times of being happy thinking something bad was going to happen. You know, I remember one time I was just so happy, 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 and I was looking for for, for something to, to happen. That's not living. God has not given us a spirit of fear. I know that for a fact. So it's time for us to push forward, push through, love yourself. At this time in my life, I, I've given love to all of my my family it's, and I didn't love myself it's time for me to love me and um, it's just time for me to love me care about me because I put everybody else happiness before mine I did that all of my life it's over I can't do it anymore it's time for Mama T, to be happy, no matter what. It's, it's, it's time for me to be be happy. I'm not um, what you call a people pleaser, but I do like to see others happy. I love to see my family happy and enjoy themselves. But what about me? What about how I feel? So, I just wanted to jump on here and tell you to be happy. Love yourself. Love yourself enough to take care of yourself. I have not taken care of myself. I've never been, you know, this big and, you know, and, and it wasn't, seemed like it was easy getting, on, getting it on, but it's, it's, it's hard getting it off, but it's coming off and it's going to take time. The weight, the physical weight, and the spiritual weight is coming off. I have that much faith in God to believe that I'm going to be all right. So, Mama T, mindset is, is, is different. I have changed my mindset. I can't do anything about anybody else's life. I can pray for you. Yeah, I can do that. I can pray for you, but that's about all I can do. It's time for me to work on me with my um, health issues and things that's going on and not feeling well. Sometimes, you know, I just I just don't feel well. And I believe that I can be cured from, from lupus. I, I really do believe that. And it's time for me to head toward that way. You know, instead of just laying down and letting the devil beat me up, it's time to stand up, lift my head up, and look to the hills on which come in my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord that, the Jesus that died for me over 2,000 years ago, the Jesus who was born of a virgin, hung on the cross and took my sins, diseases with him and rose on the third day. That's where my help is coming from. It's from him. Y'all, I was just feeling, um, I'm trying to hold back the tears. I was just feeling a bit emotional today for no reason at all. No reason, just feeling emotional. And I feel like God is working on me. He's stirring something up in my spirit. I believe that God has great plans for my life. Just because I'm in my 60s, it don't mean that you are stop living and that you're dead. I'm going to live my life more abundantly. I'm going to strive to be the best mama T that I can. I'm going to strive to do the best that I can. And that's all that's asked of me to do the best of I, as I can for, for for me, for me. So you do, as they say, you do you, boo. You do, boo. You do you. Do the best that you can for yourself. You know, it's okay to do for others, but do for yourself. So I'm in that season of my life to where I can pray for you, but I'm going to do for myself. 
you know, we should, we, you know, we worry and think about our families, but we got to think about our own soul salvation, right? So that's what I am feeling. I love y'all. Be good to yourself. And if you be good to yourself, you have no other choice. No other choice but to be good to others. Pat yourself on the back and know that God loves you and that you are worthy and that you are the apple of his eye. Every hair on your head has already been numbered. He knows who you are, where you are, where you've been, and where you're going, boo. He knows you. He got your digits. Live the best life you can live. Live your life like it's golden. I love that song that Jill Scott sings. Live your life like it's golden. Love you. Love others. Love God first. But when you love yourself, you'll do better about yourself. So I'm beginning to love me. And I'm doing better about me. So sometimes I get in the car, the van, and I just drive. I mean, I drive. I drive all over the city, and I'm thinking about driving um, out of town by myself, y'all. My family, they hate that. They hate the fact of me driving out of town by myself. But you know what? I'm doing me, boo. God got me. He He has me. So I'm going to... Um, be doing some 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 different things cooking blogging a little this and a little that and you know what if you need to cry cry pray thank god and love yourself see you later